Well, fellas, it's a sad day over at Urban Garden Supply. Uh, Gavin got so sick and tired of pH probes dying that he died himself. So I'm going to have to finish this one. My name is uh, Kevin. Um, so you take your pH probe out of the box and you take the little cap off. And uh, what you got to do is you got to soak it for 24 hours in tap water. Um, if it's reverse osmosis filtered water, if it's deionized water, um, that's going to be real bad, uh, real bad for, for, for the probe. So just make sure that it's soaking in just tap water. If all you have is reverse osmosis, add some newts in there. Doesn't matter, just a little bit, just a little something in the water. And let that probe soak for 24 hours. 24 hours is pretty, pretty magic tastical. And uh, after that 24 hour soak, go ahead, pull the probe out, shake off any excess water, and uh, you could start with pH 4, or you could start with pH 7, just go ahead and gloop, 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 fill that guy up and get that probe in there. You just need enough of the solution to cover the probe, okay, and then you put it in there, and then you, you turn it on, of course, <laughs> and... Uh, you gotta spin this little screw on the top here, gotta spin it until this screen reads seven. And then you're calibrated to seven. For further accuracy, shake this guy off, dump this guy out, rinse it out, wipe it out, go ahead and glug, glug, glug with your pH four. Drop this guy in here. Again, take your screwdriver out and uh, spin it until the screen reads four and whoop de woo you have just calibrated your pen. Uh, other pens that might cost a little more uh, typically are uh, considerably easier to uh, calibrate after soaking this guy for 24 hours too. I told you it's a magitastical number. Uh, you could just dip this guy into the uh, calibrating solution, hit cal, it'll beep at you, beep number seven I do believe, and uh, then you're pretty well calibrated. Uh, of course, I've been wrong before, so uh, make sure to follow the directions on any of these guys. Um, quick note, um, after you calibrated your pen, you got to store them. And uh, this is a big one. This is a big major killer for a lot of pH probes out there. <laughs> so what you got to do is make sure that the probe is always wet, uh, a real wise wise human beings once said about pH probes, if it dries, it dies. So uh, do remember that. Make sure to let it soak in tap water. There's storage solutions if you want to. Tap water will work fine. Storage solutions work great. Just make sure to not put it in reverse osmosis filtered water. That's bad. It'll break the probe. Okay? So, so don't store it in that stuff. It's bad. Okay. Well, my first video is Kevin, so thank you guys very much for listening, and uh, make sure to check us out at UrbanGardenSupply.net, or you could come into our beautiful shop over in Happy Valley, Oregon.